Hi, it's Mark Keen. I'm a Microsoft Azure Technical Solutions Professional. And today I'm going to talk to you about preparing for Windows Server 2008 and SQL Server 2008 end of support. If you're running Windows Server or SQL Server 2008 or 2008 R2, these versions are reaching the end of their support life cycle. Each version is backed by a minimum of 10 years of support, 5 years for mainstream support and 5 years for extended support, including regular security updates. End of support means the end of security updates, which can cause security and compliance issues and put applications and businesses at risk. We at Microsoft recommend upgrading to current versions for the most advanced security, performance and innovation. To help customers that can't get it all upgraded by the deadline, new options help you protect applications and data during the upgrade transition. Here are a few examples of security updates Microsoft has released recently to address vulnerabilities exploited by attacks. More info at portal.msrc.microsoft.com The WannaCrypt virus and the Meltdown Spectre virus. Security is a top priority for IT teams. New threats have made it harder than ever for IT to secure data and applications. Windows Server 2016 gives you new capabilities to help prevent attacks and detect suspicious activity, with features to control privileged access, help protect virtual machines and harden the platform against emerging threats. SQL Server 2017 has been recognized for eight years in a row as the least vulnerable database by NSYST. GDPR is on the minds of both business and IT professionals. Sweeping new European privacy regulations took effect May 25, 2018 and affect any organization that offers goods and services to people in the European Union. To stay compliant and avoid steep fines, organization will need a strategy that includes data protection. Uninterrupted critical security updates must be part of your strategy for GDPR and other relevant compliance standards, like HIPAA for medical patient privacy, Sarbanes-Oxley Act for financial controls, ISO 27001 for information security management, PCI DSS for credit card transactions, FedRAMP for cloud computing products and services, and GLBA for financial institutions. In May 2018, a European privacy law, the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR for short, took effect. The GDPR imposes new rules on companies, government agencies, non-profits and other organisations that offer goods and services to people in the European Union, or that collect and analyse data tied to EU residents. The GDPR applies no matter where you are located. Microsoft has extensive expertise in protecting data, championing privacy privacy and complying with complex regulations and currently complies with both EU-US Privacy Shield and EU model clauses. We believe that GDPR is an important step forward for clarifying and enabling individual privacy rights. We want to help you focus on your core business while abiding by the GDPR. We are committed to GDPR compliance across our cloud services right back from when enforcement began in May 25, 2018 and provide GDPR related assurances in our contractual agreements. You can learn more about how our products help you comply with GDPR and let us help you get started. You can also find resources like webinars, videos, white papers and frequently asked questions about the regulation. Let's start by talking about how the world is changing. We all aspire to create disruption that constructs new realities for customers and builds a distinct advantage for our organizations. In order to make that leap, we have to look across trends and decide which variables and trends we need to care about, which ones will prevail and which ones we invest in. More than a decade has passed since we began shipping our 2008 family of server products. It's incredible how much technology has changed in a decade and in every field imaginable. And Microsoft server technology is no exception. We entered the 2008 release cycle with a shift from 32-bit to 64-bit computing and the early days of server virtualization and advanced analytics. We exit in a full-blown era of hybrid cloud computing with an exciting innovation of data, artificial intelligence and more. Research shows that companies that embrace new technologies uncover new business opportunities and achieve better business results. 
we've identified three major trends that we believe will heavily shape and shoulder disruption in the future. The first is an astronomical explosion of data. By 2020, data will reach 44 zettabytes, quadruple what it is today. The second trend is cloud adoption. Four out of every five companies invest in public cloud technologies. The third major trend is artificial intelligence. AI gives life to all that data we're creating. This year alone, investment in AI has increased 300%. Two papers from Keystone Research have explored the operating impact of digital transformation and give you multiple reasons why your digital transformation should start today. This comes from the following sources, Data and Analytics Maturity Model and Business Impact and the Digital Business Divide White Papers. They are both from Keystone 2016. Keystone finds that leading companies have outperformed competitors with higher revenue and operating margins. Keystone's observations show that digitally transformed organizations, digital leaders, perform much better than organizations that lagged behind digital laggers. End of support is like any life cycle milestone. It offers us the chance to reassess direction and set ourselves up for the future. Top of mind concerns as customers begin considering a move to Azure. We are pleased to announce new options to keep workloads protected if you can't get it all upgraded in time for the deadline. In Azure, if Azure is your destination, you can simply migrate apps running on 2008 or 2008 R2 as is and you get three years of security updates for free. This buys you more time to work on upgrading or modernizing your applications in the cloud. Many apps are tied to data, so we will also offer three years of free extended security updates for SQL Server 2008-2008 R2 running in Azure VMs. Or, even better, migrate to Azure SQL Database Managed Instance for a free version free option that will make this your last end of support transition. Or, on-premises, we recommend upgrading to the most current versions of Windows Server and SQL Server. If you cannot meet the deadline, you can buy extended security updates to keep the remaining servers protected until you get them upgraded. Organizations have options. Each is worth exploring and you may use multiple options to move workloads from SQL Server and Windows Server 2008 depending on the workload. Do you want to keep the workload on-premises or move to the cloud? Can you upgrade the operating system or do you 100% need to stay on SQL Server and Windows Server 2008? Do you want to rebuild the application using new app patterns with Azure PaaS or simply containerize to lift and shift with minimal code changes? Otherwise, you can choose to move to Azure by choosing to rehost or refactor, re-architect or rebuild your workload or app or upgrade on-premises to the latest version of Windows Server. Migrate your applications to Azure VMs and you can get three more years of extended security updates for Windows Server 2008 and 2008 R2 at no additional charge above standard VM prices. Migrate your data to SQL Managed Instances or VMs and you can get a version free option of Azure SQL Database Managed Instances or three more years of extended security updates for SQL Server 2008 or 2008 R2 at no additional charge. Or take advantage of the Azure Hybrid benefit. The Azure Hybrid benefit can help you save about 55% for SQL Server and up to 49% for Windows Server by using your on-premises licenses versus pay-as-you-go. Also, the Azure Hybrid benefit and Azure Reserved Instances can help you save up to 67% for Windows Server VMs compared to AWS. Then, modernize when you're ready by upgrading in Azure or transform apps and data with Azure services. If you choose to upgrade on-premises to Windows Server 2016 or 2019 and SQL Server 2017, you can leverage the security updates you need. More on that later. 
If you must stay on Windows Server 2008, you have the option to buy extended security updates to get three more years of security updates for Windows Server and SQL Server 2008 or 2008 R2. Then upgrade when you're ready. For those of you who want great performance at an even lower total cost of ownership, why not run your new SQL Server 2017 licenses in an Azure VM, the only VM tuned by the team that built SQL Server. Today, you'll find new gallery images for both Windows Server and Linux as well as templates that will make it a lot easier to create a SQL instance. We also heard some of you need a simpler way to handle backup for lots of VMs, so we created a new enterprise backup solution. Running VMs on Azure is a great way to get more value from your SQL Server investments. Cloud flexibility. Set up and manage your SQL Server and Windows Server deployments in minutes and then scale up and down on the fly. Tune for performance. Meet your toughest demands with virtual machines optimized by the team that built Windows Server and SQL Server. Hybrid connectivity. Get the most out of your on-premises investments and take advantage of all the Azure offers. Highly secured and trusted. Protect your entire data estate with a highly secured database on the most compliant cloud. You no longer need to update your database to IaaS. Get out of managing upgrades forever. Let's break down the features and services of Azure SQL Database. Scales on the fly. Scale performance anytime, anywhere without app downtime. When demand for your app grows from a handful of devices and customers to millions, SQL Database is a database service that can scale along with you on the fly and with no app downtime. Business continuity. Easily manages and monitors your business critical functions. Your mission critical applications are core to your business and their uptime and performance are critical to successfully deploying them to Azure. Azure SQL Database has all the critical features to ensure business continuity is built in and deployed in seconds. Azure SQL Database learns and adopts. Learn and adapt dramatically with your app. As your app runs, as your SQL database continuously learns your unique app patterns, adaptively tunes your performance, and automatically improves reliability and data protection, freeing you to focus on your app. Azure SQL Database works with your environment. Work within your preferred development environments. Develop your app with the tools and platforms you prefer. Microsoft Azure SQL Database makes it easy to connect to SQL Database with a variety of technologies enabling you to focus on developing business logic and apps using tools you are familiar with. Help protect and secure your app data. Build security enhanced apps in the cloud with built in data protection, high availability and security features without implementing custom code. With physical and operational security built on Azure, SQL Database can help you meet the most stringent regulatory compliances. Recover from disaster. Reduce the impact of disaster on your business using Azure tools for business continuity to ensure that your data is resilient from disaster. With automated backups and active geo-replication in up to four secondary readable locations, you can be sure that your data is safe. Using failover groups ensures that during an outage in one location, a secondary location can automatically take over and ensure minimum outage downtime and take advantage of the Azure Hybrid Benefit. The Azure Hybrid Benefit can help you save about 55% for SQL Server and up to 49% for Windows Server by using your on-premises licenses versus pay-as-you-go. Also, the Azure Hybrid Benefit and Azure Reserved Instances can help you save up to 67% for Windows Server VMs compared to AWS. <laughs>
for number one price per performance, massively scale up with Windows Server 2016. In-memory database technology can access industry-leading scale of 12 terabytes of memory and 640 cores. We have been testing up to 400 cores in parallel with blazingly fast performance. In-memory performance and real-time operational analytics. Four out of five of the top TPCH non-clustered data warehouse performance benchmarks and access to the fastest storage class memory including non-volatile memory NVMe and non-volatile dual inline memory modules NVDIMMs. For unparalleled security, Windows Server 2016 server level security features include auditing, just enough admin and inbox anti-malware. Database level security including encryption at rest and in motion using new always encrypted. And SQL Server has had the least security vulnerabilities of any major database six years running. For simple, flexible HANDR, enhanced HA with up to three readable secondaries using always on. Multi-domain clusters, AD authentication is optional. Storage Spaces Direct provides highly available storage, operational efficiencies from hybrid backup and HA, and new basic availability in standard edition enables a two-node single database failover. For in database AA, advanced analytics built into the database means faster time to data science insights and massive scale for multi-threading and massively parallel processing on Windows Server. For easy cloud migration, complete and consistent across on-premises, IaaS and PaaS. Easy cloud migration tooling, SQL Server license mobility joined by the new Azure benefit for Windows Server customers with software assurance and free SQL Server passive license for on prem and in the cloud. By breaking down the migration process into three steps, assess, migrate and optimize, you can solve the most pressing migration challenges and deliver the reliability, performance and security your business stakeholders expect. Your approach depends on what your IT infrastructure looks like now, what you want it to look like, and the budget and schedule limits you're working within. Microsoft Migration Tools and Services in action align with the broader phases of the workload migration journey. Discover, catalog, assess, move, then keep the stuff optimized post the move. Be it secure, managed, and cost optimized. We'd love to hear your feedback on these terms assessment. While we have numerous Microsoft tools, we are working to make this better on two fronts. Number one, stitch together experiences so customers don't see the seams as they work from one phase to another. Number two, consistent naming taxonomy consistency. As you migrate, it's everything. And then we have a bunch of great ISV tools that are attached to each phase of the journey. We're in many cases actively working to integrate our first party tools with these.